In 2015, the number of visitors to Brownsea Island were just over 121,000. Now wheelchair users have the opportunity of experiencing the wonders of the island because of the National Trust's new landing craft, the Seahorse. This landing craft can take six wheelchair users and six carers. The Seahorse departs from Sandbanks Yacht Company. The time spent on the island depends on the tides. The island is one mile long by one mile wide and it has a surprising varied landscape and is a refuge for wildlife including an abundance of birds. The island is well known for its association with the scout movement. The reception area is accessible and those requiring large print and braille versions of the visitors map and island guide can obtain these from reception. The cafe is situated one minute walk from reception. The surface leading to the cafe is described as a smooth gravel path, but the gravel needs to be compacted more in one area. The cafe is accessible and the only building that has steps is the church. You can find loop systems in reception, Brownsea Island's cafe and the gift shop. If you're planning to visit one of the five bird hides, wheelchair users do not have to use the boardwalk, which is quite bumpy. The normal path will take you to all five hides. If you go to the McDonald hide, you are really close to the lagoon. There is a wide window at wheelchair height that opens. If you have walking difficulties, you can have an electric buggy tour with a guide. These operate every day and depart every hour between 12 noon and 3 in the afternoon. These need to be pre-booked. You can also hire a manual mountain trike free of charge to travel over the uneven terrain. There are four accessible toilets on the island. These are situated in the main courtyard near the entrance, the outdoor centre and the visitor centre, but there is no alarm fitted in this one. It is, however, big enough to allow wheelchair access and transfer. The fourth accessible toilet is in the villa, headquarters of the Dorset Wildlife Trust. The National Trust recommends powered wheelchairs go as far as the visitor centre. Beyond that point, visitors need to be aware that the island consists of steep and unstable cliffs and uneven ground. Travelling in a wheelchair on some of the pathways can be difficult and possibly muddy if there has been rainfall. Brownsea is proposing to raise money to make the island more accessible so disabled people can fully appreciate the wonders of the island. Brownsea Island is making great strides to make the island as accessible as possible and a day on the island is really worthwhile. <laughs>